Um, I'd like to introduce Chief Executive Officer of McDermott International Incorporated, Mr. John Fees. John? Thank you all for coming today. I'm proud to be here to announce our newest product offering, the BMW Empire Nuclear Reactor. I'm also pleased to be joined by our panel of speakers, and I'll introduce them shortly, but let me say at the outset that I'm particularly grateful that Ohio Senator George Winovich, uh, Tennessee, Tennessee Senators uh, Lamar Alexander, Bob Corker, and Tennessee Congressman Pinky Davis and Zach Walker here with us today. I understand, as everyone does at Washington, it's a busy place these days and quite a lot going on, but I'm thankful for their presence uh, here with us today. The Babcock and Wilcox Company is very proud to announce that we are introducing a scalable nuclear reactor module for commercial nuclear market applications. It's called the BNW Empire Nuclear Reactor. BNW is owned by McDermott International, and as the CEO of McDermott, I see a broad picture when I look at the energy landscape around our globe today, and McDermott is setting the pace to meet the needs for not only more energy, but clean energy across the spectrum of oil, gas, coal, and nuclear. What is exciting about today's announcement is that the BMW Empire Reactor should help meet these requirements for more energy, while also being responsive to demand for zero emission operations. New offerings like this are exactly what our company is all about, BMW has been a key U.S. nuclear manufacturer for more than 50 years, with experience in both commercial and government nuclear markets. This is yet another milestone for the history of BMW's contributions to the nuclear industry. We are excited about the far-reaching impact this reactor could have on creating jobs. We estimate, we estimate that the construction of every power plant with a BMW Empire reactor could bring 500 to 1,000 construction jobs, for the duration of the build. In addition, we estimate that after construction at every plant, there would be two to 400 new permanent jobs created to sustain the reactor's operations. And according to the Nuclear Energy Institute, jobs like this pay 36% more than average local salaries in a given area. In the next several years before all this starts, there is a potential in our company for up to 500 new manufacturing and engineering positions over the next several years at our facilities in Virginia, Tennessee, Ohio, and Indiana, and potentially with our subsidiary in Canada. While tremendously positive, the jobs numbers don't tell the whole story, because we plan for the work to take place here in the United States and not overseas. We are bringing nuclear manufacturing, specifically nuclear steam supply system manufacturing, back to this country. The nuclear renaissance is not just about adding to the total of nuclear power plants in the country, it's also about deepening the manufacturing base through the chemical jobs that support the newest and most modern needed technologies. In conclusion, it's a pleasure to make such a positive announcement that benefits our shareholders, our customers, and more than 20,000 employees of BMW. With that, I'd like to introduce our panel that's here today to my right. Brandon Bethards is Chief Executive Officer of the Babcock & Wilcox Company. Chris Mowry is the President and CEO of the newly formed b &W Modular Nuclear Energy LLC that will lead the Empire Reactor effort. As I mentioned earlier, we're honored that Senators Voinovich, Alexander Porter, and Congressman Davison Wonk are with us. Jack Bailey is the Vice President for Nuclear Generation Development for Tennessee Valley Authority, TVA. And finally, we'll hear from Craig Lambert, who is the Director of Engineering for the new business generation at Exelon Generation Company. When we're finished uh, with, with our remarks, uh, we'll look forward to your questions. And with that, I'll turn it over to Brandon. 